Hello and welcome to something I haven't really done before. This is a lifesteal server. And if you don't entirely know what that is, well, don't worry, that makes two of us. But what I do know is it is essentially, if I'm not mistaken, survival, but with a twist. We can kill each other, and each time a player kills another player, they steal one of their maximum life. Now, I think I have kits and stuff, and some things to check out, uh, such as this right here. And we've also got the Zeus spawn egg and Hermes spawn egg, which I will probably be checking out later on in this. I saw roughly what they have going on, and honestly, it is something that I thought would be pretty cool. I should also mention that this is a hashtag ad. I am being paid by the server, but I'm not gonna lie to you. This looks freaking awesome. I want to check it out and see what it has to offer, but I don't really know the best way to start. So I imagine slash help menu is a good way, and I think I actually looked through a lot of this, um, for the most part, just to see some of the stuff that they have to offer, like slash vote, clan, uh, TPA home, and of course the life your rules. So I'm gonna go ahead and just RTB and see where we go. I guess our first step is to find somewhere to live. Somewhere secret where hope- <laughs> Somewhere secret where hopefully nobody- Go away, chat! <laughs> no, I screenshotted- No! Anyways, uh, this is essentially, uh, survival at, at the core of it, which is super awesome. So I'm only gonna get a bit of wood because, to be honest, I could probably get some later. But I'd like to take some trees in case- Actually- well, it would be good, but to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna live underground. It's my best bet. Okay, you... I am not dying to, to, a, to a freaking zombie. So this should be a very good... Oh my... Oh, uh, play, sir! I'm trying to fantasize about my armor right now. Please, leave me alone! Someone's got a portal here. Great! I don't know how friendly people are. Are they very PvP related? I don't know. That's the thing that does worry me. I'm not the biggest on PvP. Of course, it is not 1A PvP, which I want to say I'm good at. I'm definitely maybe better at, at it than I am at 1A. I'm not 100% certain. I haven't done either in a long time. Now, the rest of these I'm going to set to the side because I'm probably not going to utilize these. I'll go and actually keep this on me. Um, I'll probably need more meat, but I'll do that later. I guess I don't... I mean, can I just sell this? Oh, I have to do sell GUI? Oh my god! Oh, okay, that is so cool. Most servers, you gotta do sell all or sell hand, but that you just sell straight up to, to, to the gods themselves to a GUI. That's really cool. Oh, I see. Protection versus blast protection. Interesting. Uh, you know what? That's cool and all, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this full set right here, as is. I wanna have some protection, because I'm not really worried about creepers, I'm worried about people, honestly. And protection's gonna be my best bet against that, I believe. Life. <gasps> oh! You could just straight up get life? That's insane, guys! <laughs> get a life! What commands can I do? I know I can do slash feed, so that's actually not a problem. I know you can check that in slash rank, so I get feed is like really the only command it looks like, unless, no, it looks like that is the only command. Interesting. So they didn't want to make it too overpowered. A lot of it is just convenience. This server does it in a way that could be bad, could be good. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. And that's full honesty, because the way it works is, if you spend a total of, hold on, let me show you the ranks again, 200 plus dollars, you get the prestige rank. So it's basically just supporting you by buying things on the server. Now, the reason I think that's good and bad is you would spend probably about $200 on top ranks on most servers anyways. But now you can spend $200, get a bunch of stuff out of it. Essentially, you can buy loot boxes, you can buy crates, you can buy all kinds of things. And as you get things that will help you progress on the server, you can also earn a rank, which I think is really cool. I know I just a little bit ago I said, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but to be honest, I think it's a cool idea. But I want to know what you guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think of the feature, and check out the server for yourself. I also realize dying um, in any sense of the way will take away my hearts, huh? Because it didn't say a player kills me, it just said death. Oh, is that 900... That's 900 million. Almost 1 billion is battle top. The lowest for the top 8 is almost 100 million, it looks like. That's kind of insane. We're running out of dark oak area. I want to go back to the dark oak. I at least want to be close to it so I can come back up. Actually, I have a lot of set homes, don't I? Let's go, like, right here. Do a little set home dark oak. There we go. Uh, set, just set home. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we'll set it as home number two. I would love in a, a way where you could just basically go up to it, uh, and uh, either on this or this one, I guess probably this one, because that's the teleport one, right-click to be able to rename it, and then that way, whenever you look at it, it'll be like, oh, this is your dark oak home. This is your uh, home home. This is your spawner. Like, different things like that, I think would be really cool. That's my suggestion, at least. I just realized I don't have any brightness mods. 
which I normally have because I don't like to play Minecraft normally. I also definitely need to keep uh, keep picking these drops up. Normally, I toss this stuff out, but this is forcing me to play in a different style because I can sell it, which I love, actually. It's so cool. Is there a mod I can get where, like, anything that lights up, such as, like, fire and, like, a torch in my hand, actually lights up around me? I know Optifine does that, but I haven't used Optifine in a long time as I've been slowly transitioning into using fabric only. And now I can just swap like this. Uh, oh, I didn't know if I was, like, falling or if I was, like, gliding, if I'm being real. But that worked out. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna go just slightly above this area, or try to. Um, I should probably do it from here. Because I don't want to just dig through cobble. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think Deep Slow... De uh, deep Slow? Deep Slate takes twice as much durability. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> like, I'm trying to find an area that... Oh, I don't even need more copper. I'm trying to find an area that's, like, naturally kind of dug out, but isn't gonna be annoying to, to, to finish this is actually probably the perfect area so i'm not gonna do a whole lot with this yet but i am gonna go ahead and actually box it in so that i have a rough area to work with and so that things don't like just run up on me so i want to leave that water source for now because i want to go ahead and get a water bucket that's gonna be super useful in case i get caught on fire or if i fall into lava there's many reasons to have a water bucket on you fall damage is one of them it's gonna be so useful and then i'm gonna have to figure out my hot bar again and that's gonna be a problem but i will figure it out cool so we got a little area here i'll flatten it out and everything and i'll probably build like actual wood structures and stuff in the future i just wanted to get something down um oh hello well that's problematic i think i'm gonna sell a lot of this so let me pull up the sell UG, uh sell gui and just throw all of this up in there this could be useful for things but for now actually i'll keep the gunpowder because I want to get into firework rockets. Those are going to be really fun. That is a total of $830. We can kind of see what sells for what there. A baked potato sells for a lot, so that's good to know. A potato farm could be a solid way of making money. Oh, and you can actually go above the normal amount of hearts. Wait a second. Okay, I need to test something for science then. In theory, if I use one of these, I don't know if I want to use all 10, does this give me an extra heart? All right, I want to use all of them. Now, here's my reasoning. The more hearts I have, the less they can take from me. Or something like that. The less likely they're going to take it from me. I don't know. I don't know if that was a smart plan, but it's definitely the plan I went with. I want to make a few furnaces up so that I can get some stuff cooking as well. I'll probably only do two for now. And maybe more later on, but I don't want to do too many. So far, pretty solid base. I still got a lot I got to do. I Like I said, I haven't played vanilla in so long, so... This is all kind of... It's going to take a minute. So if you do slash vote as well, you can get some really good things. Um, I haven't even looked at this yet. So if we vote level zero, no requirements, per vote, you get one rare key and 10,000 balance. 30 total votes, you get a milestone of one PvP key plus one life, three... Or sorry, $250,000. And then per vote, now you get 20,000 instead of 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and actually slap up these voting links. Okay, so I finally did all my voting. I now have $120,000. And I didn't actually finish all of it because some of those sites are actually really annoying. One, I have an ad blocker and one of them was like, oh, disable your ad blocker. So I was like, okay, of course, yes. Disabled it and it kept saying, disable it, disable it. So I gave up. Let's see, what does that in, uh, mean for spawners? Not a lot right now. We don't need pig or cow for the most part. I kind of want to go higher, but we're going to have to find a way to make some money before we can do that. So I should also have some crates, so I want to go to spawn and see if I can find where the crates reside. And they're all digital, it looks like, which is super awesome. That means that you don't have to worry about losing them. As you can see, I've got two keys there, 12 there, 0, 0, and 0, which is super fine. Is there another one back there? Uh, three. Oh, okay. So there's an elite crate, which is free daily for elite, uh, or elite rank. So let's see what we get from this. Spawners? Spawners? No! Whoa. That's literally the same as this. I don't want it. I mean, it's cool, but I don't want it. Anything cool? Please give me something cool. <laughs> something something really cool, not something lame. Please, something cool. Something cool. Why would I need that? I mean, a bow would be pretty neat, but... Oh, actually, I did get a bow. Infinity, Flame, Power 5, Punch 2, Unbreaking 3. That's actually really awesome. We got one more. Let's see what we get. Can I close out of these, actually? You can close out of them if you want to skip them. That's good to know. I wanted to just test it because, well, we've seen what that one has to offer. I'm going to go and put this extra gear up because right now I don't need it. But maybe one day I'll need it. I don't think I'm ever going to PvP, so I'm going to put the bow up. 
Uh, right? Yeah, surely. And is there anything in this I actually needed? I don't know. 64,000. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. I don't know if netherite is super valuable or not in, in on the server. I'll wait and find out. I'm probably only gonna see one just to see the general idea, and then we're gonna just quick fire through them and see what we get. So this isn't gonna be much. Yeah, it's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be some stuff that could be good. Um, let's go and just slam through them and see what we get. Oh, it's 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 struggling to keep up. Oh, that was all of them. Okay, we got eight emeralds. We got another netherite ingot. That's pretty decent, I would say. Um, golden carrots is actually really good food. Oh, you can. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Bamboo, we can start a farm with that, so I want to keep that. And emeralds, I think for now I want to go ahead and keep. I don't know if they'll be useful. Uh, in the future. Warning, constant strength for No, thank you. That sounds scary. I don't know if you lose anything. If you don't lose anything, that would actually be fun to go into. But there's an AFK pit. You will receive one AFK token every 20 minutes. What is that? What are AFK tokens for? I don't know what that is. A lot of this I, I'm going to test in the future, but not right now. I uh, just discovered a really good feature, by the way. Um, if you go to accidentally delete your home like I almost did, uh, it will in fact stop you and be like, are you sure about that? I, I can't spawn the boss. It's not... It's not close enough. So I guess then I'll have to talk with the owner and, and figure it out. I, I don't know. But that being said, guys, that is the end of this one. Again, join the server. All the information is down in the description. And on screen, lifestealing.com is the IP. Come join. I am super excited to continue my adventures on here. And I hope to see you guys on as well. Leave a like if you want that. Subscribe so you don't miss a video on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.